Queen Elsa might be a sweet and caring ruler, but she's arguably one of the most dangerous characters in the Disney universe. Don't come back! Her powers are beyond control, but luckily her sister Anna is always there to remind her that love will save the day. If you're like us, you've probably wondered how Elsa got her powers in the first place. Watch until the end to find out the truth about the Ice Queen. The Winter Solstice Elsa's powers are a mystery, but that doesn't exactly mean that they're unsolvable. The oldest daughter of King Agnar and Queen Adina was allegedly born with a gift that no one could explain. But when you take a look at her birthday, things start to make a little sense. Elsa was born during the winter solstice, which is known as the shortest day of the year. And according to Jennifer Lee, who is a screenwriter responsible for Disney's Frozen, the princess was born during a rare planetary alignment that caused her to develop snowy abilities. Jennifer explained during an interview Interview with script notes that she went through great lengths to explain Elsa's powers throughout her first few drafts. However, she soon realized that explaining them took away from their originality. Do you want to be a snowman? So despite there being a valid reason, she chose to scrap the explanation process. Originally, Jennifer toyed with the notion that Elsa was born with powers due to being the thousandth child born under the winter solstice. This caused her to be able to manipulate ice with her fingertips. But finding a correlation between the planets, the stars, and the time of birth proved to be a bit too technical. So Elsa's powers were simply put off as a gift. So in other words, Elsa's powers derive from her date and time of birth. But unfortunately, this doesn't mean that everyone born on December 21st is automatically gifted. Queen Iduna's Family Little is known about Queen Iduna's past, however we do know that she's not related to Rapunzel by blood. This is made obvious by the fact that King Agnar and Queen Ariana of Corona bear a striking resemblance to one another. So we're inclined to believe that Agnar and Ariana are brother and sister. But where does this leave Iduna? And what troubled past is she hiding? Disney gives little to no information about Iduna's past, however if we shift our focus to the hit TV series Once Upon a Time, things start to make a little sense. She goes by the name of Gerda in this series, and her family tree is displayed for all to see. So you can imagine how shocked we were to find out that Gerda's grandfather was named King Olaf. So here's our theory. Olaf from Frozen is actually Elsa and Anna's great-grandfather. I'm Olaf. <laughs> Hi. You're creepy. Could it be that King Olaf was cursed by trolls, causing his soul to get trapped inside of a snowman? If so, his essence might have reincarnated itself into his great-grandfather's body. So despite not having any recollection of his past life, he's tied to Elsa in mysterious ways. So perhaps Olaf's biggest wish is to shed his curse and return to his human form. But to do this, a new Snow Queen had to be born. So could he have played a hand in Elsa's mysterious powers? We think so. The Evil Troll We're not used to trolls being evil, especially since the trolls in Frozen are sweeter than sugar. Cuties. I'm gonna keep you. However, Frozen is inspired by a fairy tale called The Snow Queen, which has its fair share of evil trolls. The fairy tale was written by Hans Christian Andersen, and it was published on December 21st, 1844. And oddly enough, this publishing date is a mirror image of Elsa's birthday. In this tale, we meet an evil troll who uses his powers to create a magic mirror. But unlike the magic mirror we see in Snow White, this mirror distorts everything it sees. In fact, it can make a beautiful oasis look like a pile of garbage. So the evil troll tries to bring the mirror to heaven with the intent of distorting God's view. Unfortunately for him, his plans fail when the mirror laughs itself out of his grasp and shatters on Earth. And should someone come into contact with it, their hearts would turn to ice. So when a boy named Kai gets a shard in his eye, his heart freezes over, and the only one able to free him is his soulmate Gerda. After kissing him and warming his heart, the shard comes out of his eye and they live happily ever after. Could it be that Gerda is Queen Iduna and Kai is King Agnar? If so, perhaps his frozen heart was not completely healed and its iciness was passed down to their first daughter, Elsa. The long lost aunts. King Agnar might have a sister, but from what we know, Queen Iduna is an only child. But after taking a look at her family tree, we found out that she actually had two sisters of her own. Again, this information was brought forward by the TV series Once Upon a Time. So there might be some differences between the two bodies of work. According to the family tree, she had two sisters, Ingrid and Helga. However, no one knew about them because their memories were trapped inside a crystal. Iduna, who is referred to as Gerda in this storyline, admits to having erased Ingrid and 
and Helga from Arendelle's history. This action could only be carried out by the trolls themselves, though, so we see history repeat itself here. So why would Gerda do such a thing? Well, to protect her family name, of course. The Deal The Frozen and Tangled movies tie into each other on more than one account, and this is only normal considering that King Agnar and Queen Ariana are brother and sister. So could it be that these siblings had a recessive gene that caused their offspring to be so sickly? If so, King Agnar might have resorted to the same solution as King Frederick did. When Ariana was pregnant with Rapunzel, she fell ill and needed a magical golden flower to nurse her back to health. And although it saved both Ariana and Rapunzel's life, it also cursed Rapunzel with a gift. So are we the only ones who think it's possible that Queen Iduna's pregnancy also faced some complications? Because if it did, King Agnar might have asked the trolls for help. And being the magical creatures that they are, they might have fashioned a silvery ice flower for Iduna to consume. However, keeping this a secret was paramount, which is why the trolls warned King Agnar about keeping the flower's powers to himself. So years later, when Elsa accidentally struck Anna with ice, King Agnar knew to bring her to the trolls. And to make sure that he kept his secret, the trolls asked him about Elsa's powers in front of his wife. So when King Agnar revealed that Elsa was born with her powers, Iduna did not correct him. The troll knew that Agnar could be trusted. Jack Frost's niece are we the only ones who think that Jack Frost and Elsa bear a striking resemblance to each other? We highly doubt it. There's a popular theory floating around the internet that places Jack Frost as Elsa and Anna's uncle. And although Queen Iduna might have a few family trees circulating around, this theory is too good not to entertain. So to start things off, we'd like to say that Jack's sister remains pretty much nameless throughout the entire movie. Sure, she might be referred to as Flea from time to time, but this is just a cute nickname that her brother chooses to call her. Could it be that Flea and Iduna are the same person? If so, Flea might have fled to Arendelle after Jack fell into the frozen lake. Although there are some notable differences between Flea and Iduna's appearances, there are also some similarities. First off, they both have brown hair, side bangs, a round face, a button nose, and a dust of freckles. However, their eye colors aren't the same. A popular fan theory is that Flea's eyes changed from brown to blue after searching for her brother in the frozen lake. If Jack Frost is in fact Queen Aduna's brother, then this could explain where Elsa's fair hair and magical powers come from. The Prophecy Elsa's powers might be extraordinary, but they were given to her for a reason. Despite being an ice queen, Elsa's heart is as warm as her heart is pure. But maybe she was born to carry out a prophecy that was created long before she was. Prophecies are often used to explain why some characters are incredibly special. In fact, even the renowned writer J.K. Rowling used a prophecy to explain why Lord Voldemort wanted to murder a baby called Harry Potter. Could it be that Arendelle was cursed to become the land of never-ending winter? If so, it makes sense that a baby would be born under the winter solstice and hold powers that were beyond her control. Despite being born to create a never-ending winter, Elsa forgoes her prophecy to save the people she loves, which isn't exactly an easy thing to do. What we do know, however, is that the trolls know a little too much about ice-related powers. In fact, they might even be living in Arendelle to prevent the prophecy from coming true. When the king and queen of Arendelle sought grandpappy's help, he knew Elsa by name despite never having met her. So we're inclined to think that he warned her about fear with the hopes of changing her fate. The Northern Lights Up next is a super interesting theory that's brought to us by a YouTuber named Isaac. He believes that Elsa's powers are a direct result of her being born under the Northern Lights. In fact, he also believes that the trolls' powers emanate from this breathtaking phenomena. Since the Kingdom of Arendelle is said to be similar to Norway, it makes sense that the Northern Lights hang directly above the castle. So perhaps Elsa's powers were given to her by this mysterious force. This makes us wonder if her abilities grow weaker the further she gets away from Arendelle. But we'll have to wait to find out if this is true or not. The trolls' powers are said to correlate with the Aurora Borealis, so this might be why they're able to counter Elsa's powers using magic-infused crystals. Icy DNA Elsa's powers are a mystery, and they very well might always be. In fact, the only way to confirm their source is by getting Disney to come out with an official statement. But since that hasn't happened yet, we're left to state the obvious. Elsa's powers are genetic. This is somewhat proven by the fact that she was born with them. We all remember when Anna was struck by Elsa's powers. 
But do you recall the image King Agnar saw while flipping through an old book in the royal library? This mysterious image showcased a well-dressed man lying on his back. Behind him was a troll who appeared to be pulling the cold air out of his body. So with this in mind, some fans believe that Agnar's ancestor was struck by the northern lights, causing his heart to grow cold. And while the trolls did everything they could to rescue him, they failed to extract the imprint the phenomena left behind. This caused Elsa's ancestor to harness ice in his DNA. And generations later, Elsa managed to carry the rare gene, turning her into an ice-wielding princess. This theory sheds some light on why Elsa has powers and Anna doesn't. So, there you have it guys, the truth about Elsa's ice powers. Before you go, let us know which theory makes the most sense to you. Or better yet, let us know if you have some theories of your own. And that's a wrap. Don't forget to subscribe to The Things to be the first in line to watch our newest videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Oh,